Hey guys, Arkas here, and today I want to make a like a showcase, a guide video with the new final boss and everything, using the top team that everyone's using. This is also the top team that everyone used in JP as well. This final boss is not hard. If you do have this team, Sario, Green Gother, Red Zeldas, and Death Pierce, this boss is easy. It's going to be really, really easy for you. You're going to get through this and get top um 50 percent they get the gems easily right even by just clearing it right super easy but they get through it easily right before we jump in this make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet and hit the notification bell if you want to get notified when i upload that would have been the move i would have done or i would have double zell just uh take the attack cards but or actually, I probably would have done a go through tech card, which I don't get ignited. I had auto on. Because last time I was autoing a stage, I was in, doing a stage, I was autoing it. That's quite lovely. That's fine. Um, I need Malaska dead anyways first, because Malaska is very annoying. Uh, Galland won't take much to kill. Um, okay, if I do do this, he will not get his ult, which is what I want. Good. Last goes dead. I need to clear this within seven turns because there is missions to clear it with within seven turns. Which is what I'm trying to do. I need to clear within seven turns. Also without using ultimate moves. So this ultimate move is useless to me. Alright, because I need to do it without it. Because that's how I get the most score possible, without ultimate moves, seven turns, and without clearing it with red hell room. Right? Um This should be fine. Hopefully I get some Sario single target cards, because that's like the big thing I need right now. If I get a bunch of those, next phase will be over supremely fast. I, and I should finish it this next turn. Yeah, it's current turn 3, I should finish it this turn. Um... Gother may die. I'm gonna rank up Sario just in case, right? Just in case. But I'm pretty sure Gother should be fine. Oh yeah, I didn't even need this Elders card. Uh, Zelda's will be unpetrified? Yeah. <laughs> that will happen, because his commandment's gone, right? The Gother gets unpetrified does that. It's also for like one turn. Or is it two? I don't remember. Let's skip this. We're not going to watch that. So as you see, they're not their special like bug forms as you saw right away. That's only when they get max ult gauge. And right off the bat, we are going to do this. Um, Malska should be guaranteed dead here. From the AoE? Maybe? Please? <laughs> are you kidding me? She barely survived? Oh, that sucks. Okay. Uh, Gallons are much AoE attacks. They don't hit hard right now. But when he does get in this bug form, they will hit a little bit harder. Um, I'm hoping... <sighs> okay, um... I think she'll die from that attack. And then I have to take away his ult gate. He's gonna transfer no matter, no matter what here, right? I didn't draw any sorrow cards either. Yeah, because she's dead from that. So, I, oh, no ignite so far. Uh, oh. Please? Hey, yo, it's Elders? Oh, hopefully he doesn't kill Gother. If he kills Gother, we're gonna get a lot less points. Ooh, please just think of target one of them two again. Oh! <laughs> okay, um, I'm still gonna show this run because this is a run that a lot of people are gonna get. And I'm gonna show you like how many points you're gonna get just by doing something like this. With Gother dead, and... Okay, this is the seventh turn, so this will be. I will get in the mission to clear within seven turns. Um, let's see how many points we get. If it is a lot of points, I'll keep it. I'm pretty sure you're going to get a lot of points here. Because we can clear a lot of the uh, the, the 45 plus 45%, plus getting this and everything, the Oath of Combat. How much does 3,500 get us, right? This is our first try. So 83 is what they give me for a Final Boss token. That's nice. And Global doesn't have the. Um, Daily limit, which is very nice. Luck pass mission. Let's see here. 22.38%, right? 
that's with Gotha dying. So if you were doing the oath of combat without Gotha dying and everything, right? And like I we cleared, you know, without any, if we did it without anyone dying, um, effects really easy. We clear the effect easily, and then 400% damage is why we need a single target level three um, sorrow card with some bunch of codes are passive, passive, and then we'll hit that easily. Plus with go Zelda says that you know pass everything, we will hit it with 400%. And then if we ran attack food, which is probably, I'm going to switch to attack food real fast. And then we'll uh, show a run without Gother actually dying and everything, right? Okay, guys. Uh, here, I finally got my run and everything. Um, I didn't, like, record my voice. So I'm recording my voice over this because I didn't know how many runs this was going to take. Uh, I legitimately got this the very first run. I wasn't expecting this. But here, you know, we're just, you know, attacking everyone to make sure we don't get any knights on us from Milosis Commandment and everything, right? And then over here, we're just taking sandwich. We uh, have got to level 85. We have some HP defense gear in him. It's full UR. We're just trying to make sure he doesn't survive because he has a lot of HP and because, you know, they're going to be attacking him. The red units they're weak against, so they won't necessarily attack the red units first. They're going to be mostly attacking, you know, Green Gother. Because you know there is type neutral to them, and they have a high chance of uh to them as the AI killing him because he's more type neutral versus them having a weakness against the you know the red units and everything, right? So yeah. Uh here we just kill Malaska first, we just we one don't want her coming messing with us, and then we just kill Gallon in one hit because Gallon is extremely weak. And going into the second phase, as you can see here, I had a mask that had four different attack cards, which was quite annoying. But uh, I tried to take away her ult gauge and everything, and then I, you know, I just did some attacks and everything. Gother, I said I didn't have a Gother attack card. I didn't want to use the rank up yet, because as I was going for the four hundred thousand damage, um, with one attack without using ults, right? So I was trying to save for single targets. As you can see here, I got a lot of single targets. I got really worried here because, as you can see, Gother gets hit by all four. Yeah, this was this was this was fun. This is very fun dealing with this. So what I did was, all I did, I decided to you know rank up and everything. I was going to make sure she died. I I almost did a double rank up because but I stopped myself because of you know Gallon's passive. You can't do that. But I did this so cards combine to get level the rank up for next turn to get the most boost possible. That single target will kill Malaska. She is insanely weak before she actually fully transforms and everything. So you get her out of here, and then, you know I just do an attack on Gallon just to, you know do some damage and everything, right? Here, you know he's going to attack my Gotha. I was really worried here because look how close Gotha was to dying. If he did one more attack, he would have died. But he transformed, which means his stats increased. Now the bad thing about his stats increasing is, as you see here with my attack and everything, I don't do four hundred thousand damage. Because he transformed. So the transformed his stats increased and I wasn't able to do as much as I could have. That's a problem for me, because I wanted to do, you know, the mission, but it's fine. I still got top ten percent with a score, and I got four thousand five hundred. This gets me top ten percent and everything. So if you're able to get, you know, a little bit more RNG and you're able to get the four hundred pounds in damage and everything, you should easily be able to actually get top 5%. But I got top 10% here, which is really, really good. And um, this team works and everything. It's really nice. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I'm going to show... I'll show it in this video. I'll show you a time to speed of me auto in this real fast with this team. Uh, yeah. Let's uh, go ahead and get on that, shall we?
Okay, as you can see, the auto did, did the auto get a better score to me? <laughs> I mean, it clearly auto it might have actually gotten a better score to me. <laughs> Let's go check. But yeah, um, as you can see, this is very you know auto easy. It's not that hard. Um, it's a pretty easy final boss. Uh, here's soon out. No, it didn't. Okay, it barely didn't. I'll be uh, showing a free to play team if you don't got Gringo a team without him, because I know some people since he is limited do not have him yet. So yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!